Hi, and welcome to Just Tuned, episode number two. Here today to talk a little bit about pianos. Of course, that's always a topic on these little video episodes, isn't it? Pianos, lots of pianos. This one I'm at is a new piano. I think it, you guys have kind of understood that I'm in the new piano business these days. And uh, this one in particular is pretty exciting to play. It's five foot ten long and uh, has a really awesome array of German hammers on it, which make it just really sweet to listen to. And I was going to go over just a little bit about uh, preparing a new piano. It's something that uh, I, as a technician in this position now of selling pianos, find myself just uh, always you know, wanting to do because I want the instrument to be as nice and as trouble free as it possibly can be once it gets to someone's home. A lot of piano dealers uh, actually that's for them overhead and they don't do it frankly. I've found myself in many a position even uh, where people have been describing to me what the crate looks like as it comes off of the back of the truck with their new piano in it. And it's always kind of disturbing to me because buying a piano is not like buying that new Vizzo TV, <laughs> where you want the one that's in the box that's not been opened. Uh, that's actually kind of a bad idea. Buying a piano that has been uh, uncrated, that has been prepared, that's been looked at by a technician, and, and has had a technician that has spent several hours with it, even, is the best way to do this because what you end up with then is a piano that has been prepared that has been uh, tuned more than a few times I've gone through the tuning on this particular piano at least a half dozen times I've also spent uh, just today uh, a number of hours going through the action and uh, you know evening out adjustments for the compression of felt and natural materials as well as working with these fine hammers which are actually a Wurzenfeld which is pretty exciting actually in this uh, Halloon 178. It's a 510, 510 grand. Um, it's kind of an old school recipe for felt that was recently uh, brought out of formerly communist East Germany and uh, for the last few years has been sort of a, a, a you know kind of a renaissance of sound in pianos and these uh, Halloon instruments actually come with this Wurzenfeld hammer on it which makes them sound more, much, more like European pianos really than, uh, than Asian pianos, which tend to be overly bright and don't really have the, uh, you know, the warmth and the uh, dynamic range that a lot of the German instruments do. Um, there's a lot going on when you get a piano that really sounds nice. I mean, you can play stuff very softly and uh, control it. I mean, you see, the thing is, is any piano can, can make a lot of noise, you know. You know, but the thing that really is great is if you can get a piano that will play softly. In fact, play so softly that you could whisper over it and still be heard and control the melody. Um, that's when it really gets awesome. Um, if, if you just have that, that color palette available to you in both the very, very soft passages as well as the ones that are loud and brash and uh, just driving the piano into distortion. Um, so that's something that is always critical to do, just to, you know, make sure that, the, what, you know, when you get a, a new piano that it's prepared and that it's something that uh, you're not just looking at the crate <laughs> when the piano mover shows up and like, you know, it's not a good thing when that's happening. Um, actually, a piano that's you know, been out for a little while as most likely a piano that's been tuned a few times, etc. So it's always a good idea to get one that's been taken care of and prepared. I'm going to play this particular piano for you just a little bit so you can hear what this sounds like. It's got a pretty spectacular sound actually. I do have obviously the case parts off the front of it, the fallboard, etc. just so I can remove the action and pull it in and out and such.
One of the things that really makes this piano particularly awesome is, is all the sustain that it has. It just continues to go on and on and on. The uh, design that went into this particular instrument is pretty exciting because it's got this whole array of extra string links that uh, ring and sympathetically vibrate along with the regular speaking length of the string which gives all of that extra, you know, capacity for uh, sustain which is pretty exciting stuff. So at any rate, this is just a brief little interlude about Making sure that a new piano, when you buy one, that it's been prepared. And it's just not popping out of a crate and landing in your living room. Because if that's the case, boy, <laughs> you're really not going to get to experience the potential that that piano actually has. So that's, that's it. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And thank you for fanning my Facebook page, Allegro Piano Service Fallbrook. And the website, pianoserviceandrepair.com. I'm Brian Janey, and this is ep episode two of Just Tuned. Thanks.